Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my spring flashback where I take a look back at the products that I used this spring and let you guys know what worked and what didn't and just give you a quick recap and like point you to some of my full reviews if I have them. So, don't have that many products this season. Maybe that's good, maybe the PJ gene is leaving me. Yeah, right. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to the reviews. No particular order. I guess I'll start with the Blue Rose Beauty. So I had the Blue Rose So Berry Co Wash, which I love. And I remember telling you, I don't remember if I tried it before, I don't really still don't remember. But all I know is my hair was moisturized. My hair was actually fine, all like that matters for co-wash. My hair was clean and it smells great. Light berry scent, great texture and everything. I do have a demo of me using this up on my channel. So if you want to see how awesome it was for moisture and how clean my hair was and everything, definitely take a look at that. And I used it with the chai hair tea, so I'll mention this. This definitely isn't new and I'm sure I mentioned it before in other spring flashbacks, but I just want to repeat, this is a great product. I think she added even more moisture, which is awesome. So it's super moisturizing, especially after the co-wash. And it really, for true, reduces your shedding. So if you have a lot of shedding, definitely give this a try. I also love the Blue Rose shampoo, but, and Ochre cream gel and stuff, but I only use these two this spring. A lot of her products have glycerin on, they're pretty light, but they're great for like, summer joy. <laughs> Basically my big hair don't care season. So we'll be seeing more Blue Rose next season or stash. Next up is the Mish Beauty. I kind of had mixed feelings about this line in general. I only have the Twisting Butter here with me, but I did use the whole line. I had the DC, which I think I finished off. The Twisting Butter, which is pretty much full. And the oil, which I really can't find, to be honest. PJ problems. I think this line is actually great for twisters and braiders, so it's probably meant more for them than for wash and goers. Like I mentioned, the leave-in sat on my hair so it didn't give me enough moisture just because it was just kind of thick and hard to work in. The DC also sat on my hair but after steaming it penetrated and was nice so I was happy with the DC in the end although I like immediate results not so much sitters but if you have normal porosity it might be good. The twisting butter doesn't have any hold products but it does actually penetrate better than the leave-in. I can't really ram this twisted butter just because I use it on my wash and go but over the leave-in it didn't really work for me so I'll come back with a review. I'm definitely going to be doing more braid outs. I can't really say twists. I can't even say outs. I'm definitely going to be doing more braids this year because it's just really convenient especially for gym. If it lasts well, it keeps my hair moisturized and I can have my hair in the same braid for like two weeks without worrying too much. I do love wash and goes, they serve me well from the first part of my natural hair journey and I will definitely keep doing them as well but I'll definitely be adding more braids this year and I may try this for one of them. And I did like the oil, it was light, had a nice scent and contained some of my favorite oils. So I definitely like the oil, I'm just not much of an oil buyer because I just buy my pure oils and mix them. So that's the only reason I wouldn't repurchase it but I liked it. it smelled great, had decent slip and did oil things so yay for that. And thanks again to Michelle for sending me these products and I was really happy to try them. I'm looking forward to seeing what else she comes up with. Definitely maybe a lighter leave-in would be good for me and I'll be looking out for a gel as well. We have the Sultanicals Shampoo Butters. I got the Shea Verdict Butter Shampoo and I got the Coco Rasu Butter Shampoo. So I really enjoyed using both of these. This one doesn't really feel like it cleansed my scalp. Somebody mentioned adding water after I use it to get it to like foam a little bit and do more cleansing. So I'm definitely going to try that next time I use it. This time I didn't add water, I just kept adding more and more butter shampoo trying to make it do something. So I did end up using about half in one go. It was probably because I wasn't using it correctly. So I'm going to try it again and see if maybe just a quarter would be enough for me if I wet my hair after putting it on. That was a tip one of my subbies gave me, thank you, and I'll definitely be trying it. And the rest of my beautiful subbies, you know, feel free to give me tips and advice as well. My hair was super moisturized, it had great slip and everything, it just didn't feel quite cleansing enough for me. My hair was really dirty that week and, you know, already feeling a little bit itchy and stuff, so I needed a shampoo to really reset me and after I used this, my hair 
you know, it wasn't screaming at me, but it didn't feel soothing and refreshed and happy. So this is more of a co-wash and I'll definitely try it again and keep you guys updated. But don't use it if you need a clarifying shampoo or like a strong shampoo. The Coco Rassel Butter Shampoo was definitely more cleansing. My scalp felt great after using it. It was still just as moisturizing as this one, but more cleansing. The only thing is I feel like this one had less slip than the Shea Verdict. I don't really need a lot of slip in my shampoos or co-washes because I can detangle more later when I get to the conditioner. So that's fine for a co-wash, but a little slip never hurt nobody either. So that was my only critique with this. This smelled great. It smelled like cocoa. This smelled great. It had a nice musky scent, like I told y'all. Mm -hmm. So I love the scent of both of these and I love the concept. And I definitely I'm curious to try more, buy more, use more, and you know, form more of an opinion. So far I'm very intrigued, I'm still intrigued. Let me see how much I used in this one. I use a little bit less, but I would still say I use like a good third of it. So, you know, it may, it may not last that long, and that would be my only concern. So I have to check the prices again and everything, but you know, I agree with people who say that getting three, even four uses of a shampoo just seems a little bit weird. But again, it's not really a shampoo, it's a co-wash, so if you think of it like a co-wash, then there are some co-washes I feel where I only get three or four uses. Mm -hmm. Still smells like cocoa. <laughs> I love this, I just love the color, like just give me that chocolate. I love the scent and like I said, my hair was clean and moisturized and everything. So it's definitely one I'll consider repurchasing. I have to think about it, let my pocket think about it and stuff in terms of how much you need to use, how much it costs, this, that and the other. But just in terms of the, how good the product was without any of the extra calculations, I like it, me want it. Then I have the Can't Believe It's Not Syrup, Chocolate Extreme Conditioning. So I love chocolate. When I saw that she had it in chocolate, I definitely had to get it. So people were getting the greens and stuff for the shampoo, but I was like, oh, chocolate. And of course, when I saw this, I had to make it a wash day, right? I had myself all prepped for the Can't Believe It's Not Like Caramel or Can't Believe It's Not Honey vibe when I used this. But it wasn't like that at all. So maybe she watched my video because I remember when I reviewed this, I was telling you guys it was really sticky and didn't have enough like emollients for me because it didn't have any emollients. It was just all humectants. And I love humectants, but I realized, wait, no. All humectants isn't everything. There could be more than I need in my life besides humectants. So this made me realize that. At least for my coarse wiry hair, if your hair is like more silky, you might be fine. But yeah, this actually is kind of like a regular conditioner. It's not like a syrup at all. So you can see this. It is actually pretty much a cream. So I was all prepping <laughs> for syrup and it turned into a cream. So that was good. It was really easy to use and everything. It smells pretty much just like the butter shampoo, which I love. So, and my hair was like super moisturized and my curls were popping after. So I was like, whoa. Like I was coming out to say, well, oh, you know, I don't work all right. And I saw like how my hair was looking. I was like, ah, okay, okay. So if you're looking for extra moisture, definitely give this a try. And maybe even do a little combo like I did and get both. Just for like a fun scent spa moisturizing wash day. My only critique of this was again it just didn't have quite enough slip for me. My motto for 2018 is you gotta have slip. I only want to use products with crazy slip. I love this so much I'll consider buying it again but the lack of slip was like a wrong note for me. So I wouldn't say it has no slip. It just has less slip than I would like. So Ayo, I love you. If you're listening and if you took my advice on this, then take my advice on this and give us a little more slip. Because if this had more slip, I would be raving, well not watching, screaming, spinning in circles. Because it was everything and more except the slip was just a little subpar. So I'm looking forward to your version of this next time being super perfect. And if you need testers, because I think you do need some wiry hair, coarse hair testers too. Ultra low porosity, wiry, coarse testers so yeah so last but definitely not least uh, 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 yeah. see that's how i feel when a product is really good you, you heard all that that was yeah these products are bomb 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 so i tried this pomegranate pear restorative mask so i was a little concerned might be a protein treatment but i looked at it it was just all moisture pretty much it probably does have protein down at the bottom but it's very low down and this is super moisturizing the word for the day is juicy because when I have a winning deep conditioner like the She7 conditioners, my hair feels juicy. So my hair was moisturized, it was juicy, like just plump and 
wet and soaked in moisture juicy after using this my hair was soft the tangles were melted like the slip was crazy perfect a1 not a thing could be improved in this like everything it was life 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 you also on instagram if you follow me on instagram i was just posting pictures and just going crazy love so i'll definitely be getting more of these for black friday i definitely hope this sticks around and i love it mm. has a nice scent like a light fruity scent like pretty much all her products so light fruity scent moisture for days it does say for very dry hair so trust and believe Okay, I've been talking about it too long, but you get the idea. I liked it a lot. I loved it. Okay, good. Let's move on to the pomegranate pear quenching conditioner. This one I use as a leave-in, and I used it for my inverted wash day, which with my coils, I needed really extreme slip and moisture. She said it gave me that all the way. So I used the blueberry co-wash, then the pomegranate pear DC, then this quenching conditioner as a leave-in, and the slip and moisture was there all the way. She never let me down. She never let go of my hand. She held my hand through the entire thing. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> I can't wait to try it again, like right side up maybe, to give you that kind of regular impression. But upside down, I had great moisture and great slip and can't really ask for anything else. It does have protein, but the protein is pretty low down. So that's why I decided to just go ahead and use it as a leave-in. As I mentioned, I like to use my fancy conditioners as a leave-in, so I buy them but still use them as leave-in. So this definitely worked well for me in that capacity. I have it on my hair right now, actually, and my hair is just light and loving life. I am just light and loving life. So yeah. Light fruity scent again, like pretty standard she scented scent. I don't know what that pomegranate smells like, but I do think I smell pear in here, although I could be imagining things, but light fruity scent, basically. I mean, it is still running, but it does look kind of thick as well. So it's definitely not the most runny, she said, the conditioner you've ever seen. If you guys have finally listened to me and got it, you'll know this is on the thicker end for she said the products. But it was still, of course, hydrating, penetrating, moisturizing with crazy slip, because that's how all her products roll. So didn't disappoint, definitely loved it. Yay. So that's it. That was it for my spring stash flashback. Thanks for coming on the journey with me, I guess. I hope you enjoyed that quick review of everything. Check out my videos for detailed reviews and demos of these products. And I will see you at the end of summer for that flashback. <laughs> so see you soon. But I mean, I'll see you much sooner than that. I'll see you next week for my next video. But just in terms of the flashbacks, I do them every season. So. See you next week and see you at the end of summer. Thanks for watching. Bye.